हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल जीनियस किड्स इन व्यू ऑफ रिसेंट अपकमिंग एग्जाम्स फॉर सिल्वर जोन क्लास थ्री ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट नवम्बर आई कम अप अ न्यू वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ द मॉक टेस्ट फॉर द प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट फॉर 2023-2024 प्रिपरेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी इन थ्री पार्ट्स इन फर्स्ट पार्ट देर आर ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन and another uh, two parts i will try to do another 30 questions so total 50 questions you will get a mock test and i will try to do different mock test uh, for this class 3 so please stay tuned and please subscribe my channel um, for more videos for the olympiad preparation upcoming olympiad preparations okay so let's start about the questions so in your exam actually you get 30 questions and you have to answer 40 minutes and total number 100 marks and and if you see these are the uh, this 21st november and 28th december is the olympiad date for silver zone and these are the these are your syllabus and these are your marks and numbers and uh, questions and marks distribution but in this mock test i will give you random questions okay so let's start so first question is that how many hundreds are there in 5309 so in 5309 these are the your hundred parts so there are three hundreds so answer is option d okay next question i had rupees 4132 4132 which one of the following is the correct number name for 4132 it is 4132 so option b is your correct answer next one what is the predecessor of the resulting number of the given expression so if you see this is in numerator it is 6 plus 7 plus 8 and denominator is 7 so 6 plus 7 plus 8 that is equivalent to 21 so when we write 21 by 7 it means that 21 divided by 7 so 21 divided by 7 it result in it give you 3 so and what is the predecessor predecessor means the it is the, the exact the exact previous number of that particular number so that is 3 minus 1 and it is 2 so option a is your correct answer fourth one if 12 into 7 equal to 12 into a then a stands for the number then the value of a is then the value of a is it is a is 7 to 12 into 7 equal to at equal to 7 so an uh, option b is your correct answer which number is missing from the sequence so sequence is 45 39 33 27 21 if you see in the sequence if you see there is a difference yeah 6 so from the previous number if you minus 6 you get the next number in in this sequence uh, in this sequence if you see last one 21 so you need to do 21 minus 6 and this give you 15 so option b is your correct answer what is the difference of the greatest prime number and smallest prime number below 20 so what is the smallest prime number smallest prime number below 20 smallest prime number is 2 2 is the number it is smallest smallest even prime number please remember this very very important please remember this smallest even prime number is Two, okay, and and what is the prime number? What is the prime number? Prime number is the number. What is the prime number? Prime number is the number which is divided by one and that particular number. Okay, so smallest prime number below twenty possible is two, and the greatest prime number greatest prime number below twenty is greatest prime number is just before is nineteen. Nineteen is the prime number but it is below 20 so it is the in below 20 it is the greatest prime number so what is the difference between this 19 minus 2 it will give you 17 okay understand please remember this one huh? this is very important next question difference of the face value and the place value of 3 in the number 54321 54321 is so what is the place value Pl place value is 9 300 of 
and what is the face value face value is 3 so what is the difference difference is 297 so option a is your correct answer okay next question when two third of 27 is added to one third of 27 the resulting number will be so suppose this one is 27 whole number is 27 so two third of this 27 if we if we divide it into three parts three parts so two third of 27 two third of 27 plus one third of 27 so that will give you 27 only two third two third plus one third so it is whole that will give you 27 only okay so option c is your correct answer two seventh of a circle is shaded as shown below the unshaded part of the circle is two seventh so total total is one two seven is unshaded two two seven is shaded so unshaded part is 1 minus 2 by 7 and this give you 7 minus 2 by 7 that is 5 by 7 so option a is your correct answer okay next one find the fraction represented by unshaded part of the figure given below so in this figure what is the different fraction what is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so six parts how many parts are unshaded two so two by six we can uh, we can reduce it by 1 by 3 that is 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 is your correct answer so option c is your correct answer 1 by 3 is of unshaded part of the given figure okay next question when the 2gd smallest number is divided by the smallest prime number the quotient will be now what is the 2gd 2 dg smallest number 2 dg smallest number is 10 and what is the smallest prime number in previous sum i already told that the smallest prime number smallest even prime number is 2 so smallest prime number if you say only if you if you say in the question that smallest prime number it will also do smallest even prime number it is also be 2 so if, what is the question if we divide it by 10 divided by 2 question will be 5 okay so what is option say a is your correct answer next question how many centimeters are there in 43.50 meters so 43.50 so in meter to centimeter if you if, if for meter to centimeter how how we go we go into multiply by 100 so 43.50 multiply by 100 so if we multiply by 100 it will give 4350 this point is come to part so it is for 4350 centimeter so option c is your correct answer okay if you see if you if you say how many centimeters to millimeters if you see it if you ask millimeter convert to millimeter then it should be 43.50 into thousand okay because meter to millimeter it will be multiplied by thousand so it will be four three five zero and extra zero 10 if you multiply 10 the uh, decimal is here then for 10 it, then it will point is there and another 10 is, is going to here so it will be four three point five zero but in in your scenario as it is asked for centimeter then it will be four three five zero centimeter but if you ask for if if you have asked to to do in in millimeter then it will be answer is this one okay next question total rotation of the second hand of a watch in one hour 30 minutes will be so what is the second hand of uh, uh, second hand here second hand means the minute hand so how many minute hand is how many rotation it is 60 it will 60 plus 30 so total 90 so 90 the total rotation is 90 option a one hour wow one hour for 60 because uh, it will be if a minute hour is starting from here 12 to again it will deal it will take 60 and for 30 it will be 30 so 60 plus 30 it will give you 90 rotation is 90 next question 
the sum sum of successor and predecessor of 19 so what is the successor of 19 successor of 19 successor of 19 is it is just next number of 19 so it will be 19 plus 1 then give you 20 and what is the predecessor predecessor of 19 it will be 19 minus 1 does give you 18 so if you sum add this it will give you 38 but if you see 38 is not in option so option e none of these your correct answer okay find the fraction represented by unshaded parts in the figure given below so what is the total parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it's six parts and unshaded part is 1 2 3 4 so 4 by 6 if you reduce this it will give you 2 by 3 so option c is your correct answer okay twice the value of rupees 7.50 paisa so 7.50 in paisa 7050 rupees 7050 if we convert it in paisa it will be 750 paisa so and what is the twice twice of this value so twice means it will be 750 into 2 that will give you 1500 paisa so option a is your correct answer product of 3gd smallest number and the smallest event number is now in this question this question is little bit wrong wrong means that if you see the 3dg smallest number if you take as per the question 3d smallest number 3dg smallest number is 100 and smallest event number is 2 so if you multiply 100 into 2 it will give you 200 but if you see in the options it will see 20,000 40,000 3,000 so it should be as per the options it should be 4 digit smallest number now what is the 4 digit smallest number 4 digit smallest number is 1000 and what is the smallest event number smallest event number is 2 so 1000 into 2 that will give you 2000 okay so here option b is your correct answer what should be added to 10 milliliter to make 10 liter so we have to what we need to do we need to subtract 10 milliliter from 10 liter so you will see the how many uh, uh, what should what should be needed to add with 10 milliliter to get 10 liter now what is 10 liter 10 liter if you need from here when there is when there is subtract from 10 liter to 10 milliliter and if you see the unit is different so we need to convert it in the same unit so here the same unit you need to convert we convert 10 liter to milliliter so what is the 10 liter if we convert 10 liter into milliliter that is equivalent to 10 lit 10 into milliliter means 1000 yes 10 liter to milliliter is 1000 so 10 into 1000 that give you 10,000 milliliter now we need to subtract now we can able to subtract 10 milliliter into 10 milliliter because both the unit is now same if the unit is different then subtraction or addition cannot be done any performance cannot be done okay please mind it any operations addition subtraction multiplication or division cannot be done if the unit is too different we need to convert it in a single unit in for both the numbers then we can perform any operations it will be addition subtraction division or multiplication so in this scenario that is a 10 liter and another is 10 milliliter so as to the two different unit 10 liter and milliliter to different unit so we convert 10 liter into uh, into milliliter that is 10,000 milliliter so if we minus sub and then then we are able to subtract it and this give 9990 milliliter so if we need to add 9990 milliliter with 10 milliliter to get the 10,000 milliliter that is equivalent to 10 liter so here option is your answer is 9990 milliliter so here option b is your correct answer next question number of triangles in the given figure is number of triangles 
how many triangles are there big one one then one two three four then this one five six seven eight nine so total nine triangles are there so option b is your correct answer now last question of this today's video when the three times when the three times of the smallest even prime number is subtracted from the two times of the smallest or prime number the result is be which one now smallest even prime number smallest even prime number is what is the smallest even prime number this is two so uh, one of my video i already discuss briefly about this even number prime number smallest even number largest even prime number and different and of this prime number so if you want to know about it if you want to uh, check about it or want to read about it please check my video from the paid playlist also i give you the link for the prime number so please check these links please check this video you have the proper idea about the smallest even prime number what is the prime number what is the smallest even prime number what is the largest even number and everything okay so in this okay i will give it in the description box now what is the smallest even prime number smallest even prime number is two so three times of smallest even prime number means two into three this give you six now is it is subtracted from the two times the smallest or prime number a smallest or prime number which, which one is the smallest or prime number smallest or see please mind it smallest or prime number one two three four five so smallest or prime number smallest or prime number is three smallest even prime number smallest even prime number is two but smallest odd prime number is three so two times of three two times of three is three into two it will be six so small two times of smallest even prime number smallest even prime number is three two times of three is six so if you add six minus six what will give you get zero so option c is your correct answer please mind it smallest even prime number is 2 smallest odd prime number is 3 okay so these are the 20 questions of this uh, series of, of this mock test one uh, part one in the part two i will give you another 20 questions or i will try to give all, uh, cover all the 30 questions uh, okay so please uh, if you like the video please uh, give press the like button and share this video among your friends and please subscribe my channel for more videos more mock tests about the olympiad preparations okay thank you friends i will see you in the next video okay thank you